Hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tag. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the flutter with SQLite. This will be a final video where we are going to work on the edit and delete button. So let's start the work that how we can update the data from the database or how we can delete some data from the database. So here we have inside data card. In the data card, we have a leading and trailing. But we were using the just icon. Let's convert this icon to an icon button. So I'm going to use the icon button first. Icon button. And in icon button, we have two things on press where we are going to work and the icon. So if I will hit the save, then nothing will change because we just replace the normal icon widget to icon button widget. Now we have to work on the on press. What I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new method here. Inside the home page, I'm going to create a new method, and uh, that method will be a edit method. So void edit. So with the help of this method, we are going to edit the data from the local state and the database. So remember, we are creating this method here only because I wanted to pass this method from this home page class to the data card class. Now, let me go on the place where we are passing the data. So here we are passing the data. First, I have to create a new variable over here that will be a function type final function and the name will be edit. And also we are using the uh, flutter null safety. So we have to use the required keyword and this dot edit. So we are going to pass that function from the home page to data card page. Okay. So here I just pass the function. Now everything is good fine. So let's work on this edit button. So whenever we will click the edit button, then automatically same layout like the we are showing on a clicking on a plus button, the title and subtitle thing is coming. Same thing we wanted to open from the edit button as well. So let me call the so bottom sheet here also. So the so dialog from the edit button also. So we have to call it from here. Now we can use this edit button in our data card. So let me go here and let's call this edit button from here. Okay. Let's do a quick lead and let's go on a home page. So if I will click here, then you will find that this title and subtitle layout is coming. But we wanted to show the title and subtitle actual data because we are editing and we wanted to know that what was the earlier data. So what I'm going to do that I'm going to provide an additional parameter over here that will be an index. Based on the index, we are going to get the actual value of that particular data card. So let me initialize it, the index, and here we have to use the required keyword again. Okay, and this dot index. So we are going to pass the index as well on this edit button. So we are going to pass the index and uh, we will going to get that index here in a data card. So just after the passing the function, we will get the index from the layout builder. So each card index will going to pass over here and that index will come in our edit button. Now, every data is stored inside the data's variable. You know that already. So we already stored all the data in data's variable. So what we have to do that we have to use the title controller and subtitle controller dot txt to assign a proper value of that particular card. So datas and we will get the datas of particular index. So using the title and similarly for the subtitle controller dot text datas index dot subtitle. We will get the current value of the title and the subtitle. So if I go back and again click here then the title and subtitle value will come here now let's work on the updating the data on a database so we have to go on a database dot dart file and here we have to create a new method so that method i'm going to create a future wide okay and let's name the method as update and the first thing is we have to create a uh, instead of the db and it will be a sync and await type again and in a db we have to query one thing so let me use the await db dot update so in a database we have update method as well so in our update we have to provide basically two things the first thing is the table name so our case it's my table 
and the second thing we have to provide the value which we wanted to update on a database obviously all the time we are using the data model this time also we are going to use the data model only and it will be our data model so we are going to pass the data model object from the ui to this database handler so with help of this data model dot to map we are going to assign a new value so i will going to show you, you that thing okay so now we know that we are updating on a my table the new data but where we wanted to update that particular thing we can uh, i mean we can uh, do using the id parameter only so additionally we have to get a additional parameter called id based on the id only we are going to update something on a database okay so in a update we have a two another parameter the first parameter is the where where we wanted to update so here we have to write the query so we wanted to update a new data on a database based on the id so we have to write query like this id question mark so just query the id okay and with help of the where args we will going to provide the id as well so what does that mean so search the id and this question mark will reference this id okay so based on the id we are going to query something from the database and we are going to update it so that was the scenario so this method will going to help us to update something from the database and let's use this update method in our home page dot dart file now we are updating something right but there is an issue like if i will click here it will save uh, so the save button only so we have to work on say uh, showing the update button as well over here so how we can do it so let's copy the code of so my dialog again and paste it over here so we are going to use the same code but we are going to change the text button okay so let's change the name to so my dialog to so my dialog update and let's use that thing on our update method so if you go on update method we were using the so my dialog but we have to use this so my dialog update and also we have to work on this text button so instead of returning the save we have to run it as a update and also in a on press we have to write our own logic for updating the data on a database but let's save it and go back and click on edit button you will find a update button over here and now let's work on the logic part as you know that we are getting the index of the value so here we have to create another parameter that will be a global value of the current index so that will be int current index based on the index only we are going to update something basically it will be zero at the beginning but whenever we will hit the edit button i'm going to assign this index to our current index so current index is equal to index so in the current index variable we will going to get the current value of the index which we clicked so based on that here in on press we are going to get the data data model new data equal to the data is stored inside the data's variable and we are going to use the current index so based on that we will get the current data which we clicked so like here there are two testing we are getting here okay that data we will going to get in new data variable so in a new data what we have to do we have to use the new data dot subtitle and if we change something on a subtitle that will going to assign on the subtitle controller so we have to use the subtitle controller dot text so now inside the new data subtitle we have a new value and similarly on the new data title we type up the title controller we will get the new value of the title and here we have to use the update method and how we will get i mean how we will use the update method so remember we created the database object over here so let me call that database object here so db dot update we have to provide the new data model that will be a new data because in a new data object we change the subtitle and new title 
which is a current value which will change if we change something over here and also we have to provide the id so with help of the new data dot id we will get the id as well okay and we can use the explanation mark here okay okay now everything is working fine but if i will hit the save on update that will going to update on a database only so if i will update something over here and if i will refresh the page that will going to refresh i mean update something on a database only but we have to update on a local state as well so how we can do it we don't have to do anything just after this thing just call the set state so it will going to update on a local state also so if i will click here 92 okay 3 and if i will hit the update 92 and okay 3 is came here okay and if i will refresh the page also that update thing i mean the update data is updated on database as well which mean the update thing is working fine let's work on a delete thing as well so let's do it quickly i will go here and i will just going to copy it and what i'm going to do i'm going to just use a new name of this method called delete we don't need a new data now we just need a id and instead of the update we are going to use the delete okay and we don't need a new data so based on the id only we are going to delete something from the database so let's hit the save and uh, let's use this delete method on our home page dot dart file the but first we have to create a new method void delete similarly we have to get the index of that particular card and we have to provide this delete method in our data card so here we have to pass this delete method okay and we have to create that thing on our data card let's do it quickly so it will be a delete and we have to get it okay now let's instead of this icon let's use the icon button okay so in icon first let me provide the icon of the delete and the second thing is the on press inside the on press we are going to call the delete method so in a delete method we have to provide the index so now we can click on a delete button and let's work on that delete method okay so in a delete method what we have to do we just have to call the db dot delete and provide the id so we will get using datas dot index dot id okay and we have to use the explanation mark because it can be null and now we just deleted the data from the database also we have to delete it from the local state so what we have to do we have to use the datas dot remove it and provide the index nothing else and also just after that let's use the set state or we can use it here only Okay, so let's delete this last variable, last data card from the database. So if I will click, that is gone from the local state. And if I will refresh the page, then you will find that that data is also deleted from the database. That's why it's not coming here. Which means update and delete is working fine. And this series is over. Okay, thank you all. Happy coding, but don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. also share the video to your friend and share this channel to your friends so i will get motivated and if you wanted to uh know how to do the caching also like how to fetch the data from the rest api and store that data on a local database please let me know on a comment box so i can work on that as well thank you all happy coding see you on a next video